Have you ever unlocked your phone with wet fingers and had to try again and again? That might soon be a thing of the past because the upcoming Pixel 10 is fixing this annoying problem with something much smarter. According to new leaks, Google is finally upgrading the fingerprint sensor on the Pixel 10, and that's just the start. This year's model is shaping up to be more than just another yearly refresh. It's about making small things faster, smoother, and just easier to use every day. So what's new first up? Let's talk about fingerprint tech. Google switched to ultrasonic fingerprint sensors with the last Pixel, but the Pixel 10 takes it even further. The new sensor is faster and more reliable, even if your fingers are wet, oily, or dirty, no more wiping your hands just to unlock your phone. And the best part is that Google's not forcing people to pick between face unlock or fingerprint unlock. Instead, both options stay so you can unlock your phone however you like, depending on where you are or what your hands are doing. And, yes, the face unlock on Pixel already meets Class 3 biometric security, which means it's safe enough for digital payments and banking apps too. Now, let's talk about charging. The Pixel 10 will support the new Cheta wireless charging standard. That means it'll be easier to line up your phone properly on the charger and get faster wireless speeds if you use a magnetic case, Google's. Approach here is kind of like what OnePlus and Samsung are doing. They've added chat to support too, but you need the right accessories to enjoy the full benefits. In comparison, Apple's new iPhone 160 does support MagSafe magnets, but doesn't give you the faster chat to charging. So Google is actually one step ahead in this area. Now, if you like colorful phones, the Pixel 10 will offer more choices this time. You'll be able to buy it in Ultra Blue, Limoncello, Iris, and Midnight. The Pixel 10 Pro and the foldable Pixel 10 Pro Fold, on the other hand, will stick to more calm and classy colors like sterling gray and smoky green. And here's something exciting for Pixel fans under the hood. The Pixel 10 series is expected to be powered by Google's first fully homemade chipset, the Tensor G5. This new chip should bring faster performance, better battery efficiency, and quicker response. Times for both the fingerprint and face unlock systems. Google is also focusing on improving charging speeds overall. Though exact watt ratings are not yet confirmed, the launch is not too far either. According to reports, Google is planning to announce the Pixel 10 series on August 20th. Pre-orders are expected to start that same day, and the phones should hit the stores on August 28th, so in just a few weeks. Can you imagine using a phone with 20 gigabytes of RAM? That could soon be a reality, as Huawei is reportedly getting ready to launch its first smartphone with that much memory later this year. According to a well-known tipster called Digital Chat Station, Huawei is working on its second major flagship lineup of 2025, and this series might include a model with 20 gigabytes of RAM. That would be a first for Huawei and a big step up from its current highest RAM offering, which is 16 gigabytes. This new phone is likely to be part of the upcoming Huawei Mate 80 series, which is now under development and expected to be announced before the end of the year. Now, let's break down what that much RAM really means for a smartphone. RAM, or random access memory, acts like short-term memory for your phone. It stores temporary data that helps your apps run smoothly and lets you switch between tasks quickly without lag. The more RAM you have, the more apps and processes your phone can handle at once. This is especially helpful if you're someone who likes gaming, editing photos and videos, or multitasking with several apps open. Over the years, phones have gone from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes, and some high-end models now offer 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. Some brands, like OnePlus, have even reached 24 gigabytes. If this leak turns out to be true, Huawei will join that ultra-high memory club with its new 20 gigabytes variant, but that's not all the Mate 80 series might bring. The same tipster also mentioned that Huawei is testing a new chip packaging technology for this upcoming flagship. While the exact details of the chip haven't been shared, it's likely to include some kind of upgrade to 5G performance. This 
could mean better signal strength, faster internet speeds, and more efficient power usage, which is important for heavy users. Huawei has been pushing forward in chip development despite facing challenges in recent years, and this new phone could show how far they've come. The combination of more RAM and a new generation chipset could also improve the phone's artificial intelligence features. More memory means the phone can handle more complex tasks at the same time, like live photo editing, smart translation, or advanced camera functions. As for the Huawei Mate 80's launch, nothing has been officially confirmed yet. However, based on past release patterns and the current rumors, the series could be announced sometime in the last quarter of 2025 that gives Huawei enough time to fine-tune the new hardware and prepare for a global release. It also suggests that Huawei is not just competing in design or software, but is also working hard to catch up or even beat some of the other top Android brands when it comes to hardware specs. Of course, we should remember that none of this. Have you ever waited for something exciting? Only for it to suddenly get cancelled without a clear reason? Well, that's exactly what just happened with Google's special Pixel 10 event. Google had a secret event planned for its most loyal. Fans called Pixel Superfans. This wasn't your usual tech event. It was something rare and special. Selected fans were supposed to get a first look at the new Pixel 10 well before the phone hits the stores. The event was planned for late June, a full two months before the Pixel 10's expected launch in August. People were excited, invitations were sent out, and hopes were high. But now, it's not happening. Just days ago, Google started telling invitees that the event is canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. That's all they said. No clear explanation, no warning signs, just a sudden change of plans. Now, instead of the early sneak peek, Google is offering a new event called the Pixel Superfans Insider Event now scheduled for September 4th. But there's one problem by then. The Pixel 10 will likely already be released, so the magic of an early look gone. This new event will still let fans meet the team and check out the products in person, but it feels more like a meet and greet than an exclusive preview. So why did Google cancel it? That's the big question some people think. It's just a scheduling issue maybe the venue wasn't ready or the devices weren't fully prepped for hands-on DMAS. Others wonder if this means the Pixel 10 launch itself might be delayed. So far, reports still point to a mid to late August release. So officially, nothing has changed. But still, when something this last minute happens, it makes people wonder, what's really going on behind the scenes? The original event, called the Pixel Penthouse, was supposed to give superfans early access to Google's upcoming gadgets, not just the Pixel 10, but probably other devices too. And in the world of tech, early access means everything. It helps build hype, trust, and keeps people talking. Missing that moment could slow down momentum for Google, especially when its biggest rivals like Apple and Samsung are moving fast. Both companies are already going big on artificial intelligence and camera features. If Google wants to keep up, the Pixel 10 has to land strong and on time. And that's why this cancellation matters. It's not just about the event, it's about the message it sends. For now, the only thing we know for sure is that fans will have to wait until September 4th, which is after the phone is expected to. Go public, that takes away some of the surprise and honestly, some of the excitement too. The Pixel 10 is still one of the most talked about Android phones this year.